Hello and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, it's the day of the festival. Oh boy. Of all days, I expected this to be the day. This what, this one I would expect your Sayori. I don't fucking know. <laughs> My brain is like all over the place. I'm slightly tired. So I guess spook, the spook of Magookums will wake me up. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little bit too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I... The, the banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and so I gently roll it up and take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Why is there no music? Bill, you're the first one here. Give me a second. Is there supposed to be no music? I guess there's supposed to be no music. This is creepy. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Eh. Yeah. So that's the one I'll be performing. Hold on. Let me... Yeah. Yeah, but the- wait, hold on! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. Think- you'd think on days this important she tried a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only say that because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But... Maybe I should have gone and woke her up, after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Bill. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging. How the fuck? Like, oh my god. You kind of left her hanging this morning, didn't you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm class president of all. After all, I see everything, but I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about that, about it that quickly? About how I basically turned, turned down her confession? That makes me seem like a really bad guy here. But I'm the only one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full, you don't know the full story at all. So don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica's being a little... Is, is being, Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill go down my spine after hearing that. I I heard a chill... I felt a chill. I was like, oh, wait, you know! That, why do I get the feeling like as soon as she said hanging, it went shkunk? It was like, oh, well, too late now. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Uh, yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Flip. 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 Alright, done. <laughs> Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I, prefer, I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they perform during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh, oh no! 
Okay, here's the horror. Get out of my head. Get out. It's just get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It never stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a, I get a pit in my, a what? Bill, what's wrong? N nothing. It's, this, it's just, this poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so, ah, well, alright. Try, try not to take too long. Okay. Okay. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out to me as she she says that as she says after me. I quicken my pace. <laughs> what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Siri. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, and I'm a dick. <laughs> I'm a dumbass and a dick! My god! I told you yesterday, things will be the same as they always have been. That's what, that's what she needs, and that's what I'm- that's what I want to give her. I reach the area and knock on the door. I, I don't expect an answer since, since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I just opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She- she really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow- I'm taking off my headphones in case- Jump scare! <laughs> I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking up, waking her up in her own house. Isn't that, isn't that more something, like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sarah's room, oh my god, I know it's coming, but it still sucks. <laughs> Knock on her door, Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want her to do it. <laughs> Using a free to privacy, but she leaves me no choice. I gently open it and say, Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, god. What, what, what is it in the that attached? Do I even want to go? Oh, uh, uh, Oh my god, okay. Go oh my god, that's creepy. Uh, I gotta ch take a pick of the stuff in the top r left. Not right, oh my god, what's wrong with me? Uh, because I know this game deals a lot with files! And I have absolutely no idea what that. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This can't be real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my, what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed, I suppressed the urge to vomit. I... I am the suppressing the... I am suppressing the urge to scream and just like... Be an absolute wuss. Basically, just yesterday, I told Sayori I, I'd be there, I told her I know what's best, and uh, everything will be okay, but then why... Why would she... I just stop! <laughs> Get... No! How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turn it down her confession. That has to be what I pushed over at the edge. How can I scream so echoes in my ear? Oh my god, yeah. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. And being there is worse! If I just spent more time with her, I walked her to school and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Let me turn the music down a little bit. Actually, a lot. <laughs> Screw the literature, literature club. Screw the festival. I just... I just... Holy shit, I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone. Forever. I can't do anything to bring her back. This isn't so... <laughs> but it is! But it is! I only have one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. 
I wonder if you could actually save Sayori. I've never seen any gameplay of that. Just, it, it's always like, yep, starts out, going, join the literature club, everything's happy, Sayori's suddenly depressed, two days go by, she's dead. It's always that, it's never like, I never see a uh, thing of, yeah, Sayori survives, and everything's just normal. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. Now, I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. <laughs> just, just like a broken record. Yeah. Never, 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 and all. Oh. Ow! Oh. Waving her arms in the air like she's a, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to say that. So that girl is Error, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see. Oh my god! So we have to. Oh my god! Um, back to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get. get get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost just feel better running all away. Uh, however, I just sigh and let uh, and I idle in front of the cross crosswalk and let air or catch up to me. Oh, hi! Uh... couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself, it's, it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time, free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. School day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I'm just gonna stay perky and, like, not track of this game's horridness, oh gosh. After I pack my things up, I stare blankly at the wall looking for, uh, ounce of blood fish and... Oh, that would be interesting. Besides, most of them would probably be way too, too demanding for me to deal with. I'm sorry, I have no choice to start to anime club. Bill? Oh, <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Hi! What, what? What brings your glitchy ass into here? My goodness, I told you, you expected to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh... You actually have to travel back in time? Kinda? Of. Uh, yeah, it has. Smi Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Why am I so yawny? Probably because it's like, hey, you should go to bed because I'm recording this at two two in the morning. And when I said I wouldn't, because I would be like, ah, my God! Monica was probably the most popular school in class. Popular 
popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, had, had superpowers, was a, wasn't really a villain, but wasn't the antagonist, basically, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile so at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for supplies for my supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Nope. Or uh, markers? No, but you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Yeah, yeah, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Debate club. Really? You quit? Wow. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Can't stand... To be honest, I can't stand... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we've, we've got... We, right, we jumped through these hoops before. <laughs> I've hodged... Yes, the literature club! <laughs> I always feel like she actually knows me, like, she's watching me, type thing. Literature club, literature. That kind of sounds still. That kind of sounds, that kind of sounds dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find some new, find new members for something that sounds so boring. Yeah, I can see that. It's really not boring at all, you know. Where are you? There could be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Huh. Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that Monica is better too. I mean, she's not completely wrong, but not completely right, so... I let it slide. And besides, a member's a member. <laughs> Monica thinks she. Hmm. Hey, Bill. You have a chance? Are you looking for a club to join? Uh, yeah. I mean, in that case, any chance you would feel me further? Uh, I wouldn't ask you to join, but could you at least visit my club? It would make me feel happy. Please. Um. I guess I got no reason to refuse. However, can I? How could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Easily. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck you. I don't want you corrupting my ass. And just book it! <laughs> like, jump out of the window and just book it. <laughs> sure, I guess I'll check it out. Yeah, awesome. You're very, you're very sweet, though. Do you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica for an irresistible smile. Why do I actually feel like that... No. Oh, God. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. A section uh, of schools I really visit being... Being usually used for third class... For year third... For year, third year classes and activities. Blah, 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 blah. Monica, full of energy, swings open the door. Doors. I'm back! You brought a guest with me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just... I just looked out at girl one, eh, and all of yours, <laughs> with reversed colors out of my, um, my with my prehensile, no, perpendicular, no, it's the vision that's not your, like, if you're not straight, you're staring straight at it, you can see it with your, like, your outside, your peripheral, that's what it is. My peripheral vision. Eh? I just see, I just saw inverted colors with my peripheral vision. I'm like, uh, uh, eh? I, I guess. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! I didn't mean that's a key. But anyway, welcome to the club. Oh my god, yeah. Voices. <laughs> All words escape me for this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Who are probably demon spawns of Monica? So let me guess! You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Uh, no, I'm not. 
Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. The small figure is, makes, makes me think she's a first year. Probably right! <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice pre- Oh my god, Yuri is the vice president, that's right. It, it is nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. It's nice to meet both of you. Yeah. Actually, actually, going back to the comment of being demon swapped, I would probably still date Yuri. <laughs> just be like, have me nothing to do with your boss. I just want you. <laughs> so anyway, I ran into Bill in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I forgot that, but I, it just happened I, I, that I ran into him. Turn up the music. Because I think I heard like a weird key shift. And I'm like, what? In that case, I should go make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Bill? Girls have a few desks tasks arranged to form a table, Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I took a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan, plan to come here, but we'll, make you, but, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Fun and exciting. What are we gonna do next? Sacrifice a lamb? I'm surprised there are, there aren't more people in the club yet. Or that's me. It must be hard to be starting a new club. You could play it that way. Not not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, or that you killed all the people that rejected you. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Huh! Hmm! Or maybe your face? Or your just whole dramaticness? You got horns for horns sake? Look at this! Horn. Horn. Uh, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it... Bye. I don't know why, but it feels like I got a paperclip on inside of my lip. <sighs> ah. Ow, that hurts. But, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow, grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. So, such different girls all understand the same goal, and I get to bone one of them. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a tea teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. It's the whole tea set in the room? In the room? Yes, don't worry. The, the teachers gave us permission. After all, then I thought, when will the game learn I don't like tea? It sucks. <laughs> to quote Uncle Iroh, it's just, it's just hot leaf juice. And every tea is like that. Uh, after all, after all, does a hot cup of tea show you a good book? No. <laughs> don't let your get don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just only trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. Uh, I mean that, you know. I meant that, you know. I believe you. My tea, tea and reading might be, not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. No, I don't. I I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in reluctance. So, Bill, what kind of things do you like to read? 
Well, uh, hmm. Manga. Fantasy. You actually, you already know this since we have already kind of done this, but Monica pulled her black magic voodoo shit. And sent me back in time and killed Sayori, my best friend. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter half quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head, so... But keeps quiet. Not really... Not much of a reader, I say. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri sad smile. What about you? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we know this. Come on, let's go! <gasps> Move it along! <laughs> but, you know, I like lots of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it uh, how amazing uh, how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off the loop? <gasps> HA! Why do I feel like that's that perfect dis- Why do I feel like that can perfectly describe this game? Wow! I've been reading a lot more horror lately. Wow, well, that's it! Is it can add on? I read a horror book once. I played three horror games and I'm still playing through one. It's called this game! It's called Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh wait, you're one of the characters in it! <laughs> I just really grasped one thing I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri, Yuri might as well. Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. Sweet, sweet personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story can make me think, or takes me to another world, I, and I can't really put it down. Then you should read up a book about anti-gravity. It will... It's super hard to put down. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Uh, surreal horror is often successful at adding the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! How do you think I feel? <laughs> I'm, I'm going through a horror game, how do you think I feel right now? Oh, why's that? Oh, I just... Don't over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually like, like to write about cute things, don't you, Mark? That's okay. What?! No, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called- Don't yes, say it alone! And give it back! Fine, fine. You write your own poems? That's okay. Yeah, well, I sometimes do. Why do you care? That gets oppressive. I'm sure that it's okay. No! Um, not to give birds her eyes. I accidentally double clicked. Like them. Ah, I see, you're not a very confident writer yet. I understand how that's okay feels. Showing them that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the same for Yuri. Yeah, it's been- it's the same for everyone! Including Sayori! Hey, I just got an idea, how about this? Huh? Eh... <laughs> We're writing poems! Yeah! Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for our souls to do and to participate together. I did decide to check it out for something, after all. I need to do my best to nurture- <gasps> Yuri is the natural second best- I, I was actually supposed- Other than plot, I, I see no reason why Sayori should be vice president. Like, like, yeah, she's bubbly and perky, but- Based on what the game is telling us, so is Monica. 
<laughs> so it's like, yeah, we need the level-headed person as well. Like, they're both level-headed, but, like, this one has bubbly in effect. I don't know. Besides, not that we have a member, it seems like it's for us to get, to get a good step to the uh, yeah. Do you agree as well, Bill? I just... My tongue just tied into a slip knot. Is it a slip knot? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> no. Slip knot is not the... Not for the news. It, is, it? is it? Well, <laughs> I don't know, and I'm not gonna look it up. So, comments, if you please. If you want to, go right ahead. <laughs> uh, one problem. What's that? Now that you reach the most important target. I finally come out comfort with what's been in my mind on it. I never said I would join this club. I think Ned convinced me to stop by, but I never made it. So I have to look at all the clubs and um she decked your dies. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought. <laughs> eh. She just glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I guess I need to tell you the truth is. Oh. This actually might be true over there. We don't have enough members to yet form the club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. For the festival... I'm defensively saying How am I gonna... How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? What the crap? Especially Yuri here, right in, here, right in front of me. Come on, what the crap? Come on, game, you, you're playing to my weaknesses. I would feel terrible for letting anyone down. Situation. Besides, the club seems so easy to feel relaxed. <gasps> no, it isn't! <laughs> it's fucking chaotic as hell! Because this one's probably from here! Oh my god. So, Ryan Pones, the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Alright. I've decided then I'll join the club. One by one, the girls. Alright. The girls' eyes. The girl's eyes lighten up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that though? Yeah, it could be fun, you know. You really did scare me for a moment. Uh, I mean, if you really would just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Oh, I'm so happy. We can be an official club now. Thank you so much. You know, really amazing. Uh, I'll do everything I, to give you a great time. And I do mean everything. <laughs> Thank you. Get away from me, please. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can start. We can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Michael looks over to you once more. Bill, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ha ooh, <laughs> how am I gonna press the class star? How we all get my anxiety is not well again from that though. Meanwhile, the girls continue to ch chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess we'll be on our way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. With that, I depart from the, cl the club room and make my way home. The whole way, uh, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Sans. Wait a minute, you're not Sans? <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature, literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I already grew close to one! You just, you just basically mind-wiped her! Fuck you, Monica! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstance, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright, the... Oh, you have unlocked this special poem! Would you like to read it? Sure! And the dog never feels suspicious. Oh god, why am I doing this? 
I, okay, I love you. Thank you. Okay. What? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> In this game. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, if anyone know, wants to know the, me the the method to my madness for the the for yeah the, for choosing the word. Uh, it's just words that I like more. I'm like, oh, yes, Papa. Mm, don't I like that more than Fireflies? No, don't have to fight me more. But I'm also factoring in, hey, you might like this, or hey, you might like this. Uh, so yeah. Oh, explode. I am definitely using that. <laughs> like Anime. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club is a goddamn horror game. Death. Games. Imagination. Hi, Anvil. No. Oh. Oh, God, what have you done? Uh Mmm Love lo lo lovely lo lovely Okay Love this Uh thank you guys so much for watching if you guys liked it please leave a like Uh subscribe to my channel um... Yeah, along with Doki Doki Literature Club, I have played League of Legends, Roller Riot, uh, Please Don't Touch Anything, Hollow Knight, er... Not Hollow Knight. I will play that! <laughs> sometime in the future, when? I don't know, but sometime! Uh, and Journey. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next issue. See ya.